well then uh, now imagine you being 16 yeah you wrote uh, naive aged 16 do you still recall where you wrote it in my bedroom oh right my son <laughs> so no particular memory of the writing process yeah i do well with that song it was a weird one because or, or i mean i have kind of shitty memory of it because i often write when i'm kind of half asleep but it was one of those songs that just really kind of came out it's kind of all the words i didn't really think about it you know what i mean it's like some songs you work on like some lyrics like you you sit down and you like work the phrasing out but that the song kind of just rolled off my tongue you know it's kind of kind of strange you know it's very quite rare that happens really yeah how how often for example on on your first album how how many songs were like written that. out of the blue just like naive um jackie big tits was pretty much like that um it's just one of, it's just kind of flowed as well um but like the verse for Ula, like that came just like, but like it, it's just the the words that like really just came straight out. But then, you know, the other ones really, you know, worked on the lyrics and the phrasing quite a lot. And what was then the hardest song to write for you? Well, you see, there's a different writing process because it's like sitting down and playing an acoustic song, and then going to the studio with the band, you know, and I think. I mean, none of them are hard. I mean, it's just like sometimes, yeah, you just have to work. I mean, Naive was the hardest song to record. That was the hardest song to record, as in the song to just write it, it just came straight out. But okay, yeah, yeah. But to record the song was like you know quite an effort between the four of us to get it sounding right, and you know getting it sounding how we wanted it. But um, you know, um, let me think. I mean, they're all pretty simple. I mean, in the end of the day, like, I don't... I think if you have to, you know, if you have to force something, it's wrong. But, I mean, I'd probably say, like, uh, you know, like, Time Awaits, probably. Like, I really thought about the lyrics a lot. Like, in a lot, you know, in, in a sense, because we, I was writing with Max and we kind of just, you know, toyed with it um, together, you know what I mean? And so there's quite a lot of thought process went into it. Um... I can't think now. It was a special for you to record in the Kunk studios. Yeah, it was amazing. Were there any well memories there of Ray Davies or? Yeah, well he was he was knocking about. You know, he's usually watching Arsenal play football. It's <laughs> quite oh. funny. Uh, and he, he, uh, he, you know, we didn't really see much of him. You know what I mean, no. I think we played like a few games of pool with him, but. Um, it's pretty amazing. I mean, um, but you know, he he's quite a kind of shady character. You know, he didn't really talk that much. You know, it's like you def you definitely got the impression you should not ask him about the kinks. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> okay. <laughs> he really got that, that impression. So you didn't dare? No, fuck no. Okay. I mean, he's the kind of guy you can just tell he just doesn't not suffer questions like that or fools. You know what I mean? Like, gladly.